profile number five for Paul Hodkinson wearing the red trunks on the right from Kirby near Liverpool and his opponent here and it, uh, it's a strange match on paper his opponent is Steve Sims also known as Sammy Sims from Newport who at one time held the British featherweight title he's had 28 pro fights not been fighting all that much in recent years but nonetheless he is a former British champion and on paper it looks like a very tough test indeed for Hawkinson who for the all the good prospect he is and it's a hard test when you've only had four pro fights even if you have won the lot and won them all inside the distance but Hawkinson undoubtedly is one of the uh, the finest young prospects in the country today and he might well be on your list of young boxers to vote for later in the season when we come to working out who is the best prospect in Britain he is a very likely candidate in the red trunks Paul Hodkinson 21 years old comes out of the Barney Eastwood stable Sims from Newport not only held the British featherweight title he also fought for the European title and uh, it's only six months since he tried to get his old British title back against Robert Dickey also of Wales, but I'm afraid Steve was knocked out in the fifth round. So now he tests his experience and skill against the brilliant young Hodkinson. Not Hodgkinson, as so many people insist on calling him. There's no G. Sims is 28 years old now. At his last fight, Sims in Copenhagen. And got outpointed there by a young prospect. And he's uh, under heavy fire now here in the last minute of the opening round. From this tearaway kid from Kirby. That's the town from which John Conti came. And they breed them tough there. Sims trying very hard indeed to get his left to work to keep Hodkinson out. But the firepower of the Kirby kid is pretty frightening. former champion already as you can see for yourself scarlet in the face so here he is Paul Hopkinson four pro fights and four wins all of them have come inside the distance he made his professional debut on that July night at Wembley last year on the night that Frank Bruno came unstuck against Tim Witherspoon and Paul here was in the preliminary bouts and he knocked out his man in two rounds Mark Champney that night a little bit of action from the first this is Hawkinson uh, putting together some pretty useful punches here and getting right through with that good right hand towards the end of the round fortunately Sims was covered up for the follow-up punches but the right was bad enough Barney Eastwood on the left leaning through the ropes and Eddie Shaw the trainer in front of Hodkinson it's the old Barry McGuigan camp of course and none too eager to come out. Sims held the British featherweight title from 1982 to 83. Gave it up to chase the European title and it was picked up, of course. The vacant title was then picked up by Barry McGuigan. shrewd match indeed made here by Barney Eastwood putting his man in with a former British champion because uh, a win over Sims is going to look very very good on the record and I think Barney's summed up Sims fairly accurately that uh, he's not quite what he was 
And although he has set a few problems for Paul, I don't think he's any longer got the strength or the punching power to keep Hodkinson away. Mixes his punches well, Hodkinson. A lot of hooks, but uh, he mixes them up for head and body. And he very seldom gives a man a chance to get set. He's moving all the time, he's got good footwork. It's a great pity that Hodkinson didn't go with the England team to the Commonwealth Games. He turned pro. And uh, I think he would have been a lively prospect for a gold medal. And now Sims is in trouble. It's only the second round. And he can't do anything about it. Hodkinson can get at him any time he likes. What a nifty move, Hodgson. Notice how he ducks and weaves and uh, punches go over his shoulders. He's got uh, a pretty mature boxing head on those young shoulders. Gets down and comes up underneath with a punch. And Sims now is finding this very, very heavy going. Less than five years since he was British champion. Now he's getting a little bit of a lesson from a youngster just starting out. <laughs> Unless something extraordinary happens, I'm afraid Sims is in for a hard night here in Belfast. His face already expresses that. 28 pro fights, only 14 wins, one draw, and 13 defeats. There's a little bit of action again, showing Hodkinson doing a bit of damage. There's a little left hook on one either side, one up the top for good measure. Where can I get the next one in? Yes, that'll do. Picking every place he wants to put the punches. So, that gives you an idea of what this man's up against. 28, who began his... Uh, pro career back in 1979, before we'd even heard of Paul Hodgkinson. So two rounds safely in Hodgkinson's possession. Sims' career goes far enough back for names like Jimmy Flint and Vernon Penpraise to appear in it. And they're fighters who've uh, since retired. The furthest anybody's taken. Hopkinson so far in the professional game was four rounds. And that was the experienced Les Ramiki from Croydon. Sims can't keep him at long range. He wants very much to keep him on the end of the left and he can't keep him out. Sims somehow contrives always to be within range. So he's always getting hit.
So many young fighters are what we call headhunters. They forget that there's a body there to be got at. And uh, constant punching to the body wears a man down almost faster than anything else. Tell you what, you and I wouldn't care to have the sort of ribs that uh, Sammy Sims is going to have tomorrow morning. So another round clearly to the 21-year-old boy from Kirby, Paul Hopkins. He had a spectacular career as an amateur, which culminated in winning the, the ABA Nine Stone Championship, the featherweight title, at Wembley last May. And in earlier years, he won the ABA Junior title, and he was Great Britain's schoolboy champion. As I said, from uh, came from the same club in Kirby that produced John Conte. He's worked as a phys ed physical education teacher and he's got a glittering career ahead of him if all goes well and he's got the right man to manage him to get him good fights in good company for good money and that's what it's all about Last time Hawkinson fought, it was uh, here in Belfast in October, October the 29th. He knocked out his man then, Craig Windsor, a Scot, in two rounds. Sims again, trying to get the left to work trying to get some rhythm into his work, pick, trying to pick a few points up, but he's not going to be very successful there unless Hodkinson tires. And I should think it's unlikely that the 21-year-old year old will tire before the 28-year-old. taste of victory in his mouth we're in the fourth round and it's uh, round about this time that a young up and cover gets really tested because uh, the man hasn't gone so far and he may have come in thinking he was going to get rid of him quickly and he hasn't so then comes the test of character see if you can really keep the work together and keep the pressure on. and he does that all right Six months ago, it took Robert Dickey, the current British uh, champion, five rounds to get rid of Sims. It's just possible. Hawkinson might get it done faster. Sims at the end of this round, taking it all. Game fighter Sims. 
Bell ends the fourth. And Hawkinson now will have to go a little further than he's been before as a professional. Four rounds, which is what Les Ramiki took him, is the furthest he's been before. Now he must go into the fifth. And that's the round in which this man lost in his bid to get his old title back against Robert Dickey of Wales. He tried it to win the, uh, the European title against Loris Stecker of Italy. He went to Sardinia to try it, but he was forced out of the fight uh, in the fifth round with a cut eye. Here's another example of the uh, Hawkinson right and left. Another example. Sims is unable to keep him away. So Hawkinson now must go into unexplored territory as far as he's concerned in the pro game. Round five. Hawkinson against the former British featherweight champion. Steve Sammy Sims, 28 years old, Hawkinson, 21. Another little sneak right over the top from Hawkinson. Got to say this for Sims, he's still trying to come forward behind the left hand. Doesn't get much chance to do it, but he's trying. shortly is going to have to ask himself whether he needs this to go a lot further because I don't think Sims has got too much chance he's gone at last that was a right hand that hit him on the top of the head an overarm right and it had a delayed effect he needs this rest very badly and he hasn't made it he hasn't managed to get up he'd had enough